I don't know about you, but I've been using Gemini pretty much every single day for about a year and a half now, ever since it first launched on mobile. And as someone that lives and breathes this kind of stuff, I have to say Google is constantly improving it relentlessly, adding a ton of new, genuinely useful features, at least on a monthly basis. It's really easy to miss some of these updates with so much tech news going around, but some of them are true game changers for your workflow. So today I want to show you six super useful Gemini features that if you're not already using them, you absolutely should be. They really show the direction Google is heading, turning Gemini from a simple chat bot into a powerful integrated assistant. And trust me, so much has changed. So let's take a quick look. First up is something that's both fun and a little bit bittersweet at the same time. Gemini recently got the ability to identify songs using Google's classic song search capability. This is fun because it's a fantastic Google feature that should have been in Gemini from the very start, if we're being honest, but it's also a bit bittersweet because Google is likely porting this over as part of the broader Google Assistant depreciation we're expecting later in 2025. Regardless, I am really glad it's in the Gemini app now because it works exactly like you'd expect. You can access it by asking Gemini in a few different ways, like saying, what's this song? Or can you identify this song? Where Gemini will open that familiar full screen song search interface with the little pulsating sphere animation that you'll recognize if you've used this feature in the past. For me, the convenience factor alone is huge as I don't need a separate third party app installed. And at least for Gemini on Android, I can activate it with the press of the power button. A good addition as Google is leveraging its own powerful existing tech to make Gemini better, and it's also a nice quality of life improvement. This next one is very new, and I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it surprisingly, which is the scheduled actions feature within Gemini. This one is pretty sick, actually, because you can set it to run a prompt at a specific time, on a certain date, or after an event. You can set this all up using conversational language. For example, you can go into Gemini and say, give me a daily summary of my calendar every morning at 8am, or read me my unread emails at 10 a.m. tomorrow. When the time comes, Gemini sends you a notification for that scheduled action and tapping that notification opens the chat to show you the results. You can manage all of these in a scheduled actions tab on your account page where you can see everything you have in effect and have the ability to pause or delete them as you see fit. It's incredibly useful if you want to automate a routine task or have Gemini proactively help you with something at a specific time, which significantly reduces your mental workload. More importantly, the deep integration with Google services makes it incredibly personal and powerful since Gemini can tap into your most used Google apps and pull data from them to present you once you have one of these scheduled actions put into place. Moving on, the next Gemini feature is pretty advanced and probably one of the coolest uses for AI I've seen in quite some time, which is Gemini Live Video. This is where you can literally point your camera at anything and start asking questions in a very conversational format. I use this all the time whenever I'm curious about something, which is quite often. <laughs> if I'm walking my dog and I pass a building, see an interesting object or food item, or I'm in an area that I have a question about, I just fire up Gemini Live and immediately start asking questions. It's actually become a habit at this point because it's so good at having these environmental interaction conversations. You can ask deeper questions and get real insight on objects, areas, and locations rather than just doing a generic Google search yourself. For example, I was walking my dog in a newish neighborhood and I saw the neighborhood rec center, which had no obvious signage. I pointed my camera at the building and Gemini told me what it was, its working hours, and what services they offer. Basically, a full high-level overview just from pointing my camera and asking. If you have a curious mind, you absolutely need to try this out. And the performance is really good, by the way. Everything from pulling up the camera to how quickly I receive the responses is seamless in day-to-day -day use. Personally, I can't wait to see how this develops over time. To me, this is the perfect foundation for whenever Google's AR glasses come along because this technology will fit in perfectly in that kind of environment. Here's a really fun Gemini feature that I didn't know about until recently. Within the past few months, Gemini added an update that enables native image editing, where you can modify images you upload directly to the app. This is really cool because with a conversational text prompt, you can make all sorts of edit to your personal photos in a multi-step process. You can change the background, alter the art style, replace objects, or add new elements. So for example, I uploaded a photo of my dog and I asked Gemini to add a party hat, then I asked it to make the 
the grass red. Then I told it to add an ice cream truck. And finally, I asked it to turn the whole thing into an anime art style. In each step, Gemini preserved the context of the previous image and perfectly integrated the new prompts to create a brand new image. It's great actually, because it gives you a surprising amount of creative control over how you edit your images. And even more important, it makes powerful AI driven image generation accessible to everyday users. For Android users, this is a relatively new addition that I've been waiting quite some time for, which is the Gemini home screen widget. It's pretty great actually, because it's highly resizable, ranging from a small one by one icon up to a five by three, or even a tall one by three vertical layout if you need it. I love having this because it's simply faster to access Gemini that way, depending on where I'm at. It also has a nice material you theme to it, so it fits your home screen aesthetic perfectly, especially on Pixel devices, and even more so if you're using the new Material 3 Expressive update. Functionality wise, the widget mainly serves as a way to get one click access to some of the most important Gemini functions. You can open the camera to add an image to your prompt, add a file like a PDF, or jump right into Gemini Live for a more conversational interaction. All great features to have quick access to, and overall, it just makes Gemini faster and a bit more intuitive. Last but not least, the final Gemini feature that I want to put on your radar that you 100% should be using is the Google Photos integration. This is awesome because through the Gemini app, you can find backed up images and videos based on all sorts of criteria like face groups, locations, dates, and even descriptions of what's in the actual photo, all within your current conversation. You can say things like find photos of my dog, show me photos from last summer, or show me recent selfies, for example. It works a lot like the ask photos functionality within the Google app itself. So you can get really conversational and ask truly deep questions like what did I eat at a specific restaurant last week? Or what were some major things I saw on my last vacation? Or even show me my latest receipts or my license plate again, as a few examples, you can get really in depth with this. And I think it's insanely useful for effortlessly retrieving photos with natural language. It's great if you want to relive some memories without having to dig too deep and simply having this level of integration with the Google ecosystem is incredibly valuable for someone like me that has 20,000 photos stored in Google Photos. And that, my friends, are six super useful Gemini features that if you're not already using them, you absolutely should be. They save a lot of time and unlock some truly powerful capabilities that are just sitting there waiting for you to try them. So please take a look if you're not using them already. With that said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Are you already using some of these features or any of these features new to you? And if I missed a killer Gemini feature, please leave Leave a comment and let me know what I missed as I'm always curious to hear what the Android community is thinking, especially when it comes to AI. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd from 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.